racing all starts again, first day of pre-season. I don't know about you, but it kind of feels like two minutes ago that we were on the bus back after, after the trolley game. Have you had the time <coughs> to kind of switch off all the summer, or is it the case of it's just always 24-7 for you? Yeah, it has been 24-7. Um, as soon as the trolley game finished, you know, straight back at it. Speaking to our players first, which is important, and, and then obviously identifying targets that we, we felt would, would enhance the squad, which we, which we hopefully have done. Um, but I was just saying that on the way to, to Joanne this morning, that you know, it's, it just seems five minutes ago that we were finishing the game at Chorley. But listen, I think this is my 13th year as a manager in charge, um, and you're ready to go again as soon as you see the sun, as soon as you see the pitch and the training ground and the lads ready to go. Um, it, just feels, it just feels right. And you've obviously been busy this summer in terms of bringing players in, Gavin Cogden, Nathan Buddle, Ben McKenna, James Roberts, Dan Ward, Reese Green when the ball came in. So individually and collectively, what do you think they can bring to the spending room and why did you bring them in? Well, a number of reasons. Obviously, we've let a couple of lads go, we've let the two centre-halves go, we've let a wide player go. Um, you know, I think I think in games we we, you know, we did ever, ever so well last year. Um, but my my motto is, and I think every everyone who, who I've spoken to as a, as a manager, I respect in the game is you never stand still. Um, and each year you've got to go again. Um, you know, no, no matter how well you've done, there's always ways and, and, and things that you can improve on. Um, and I think the ball retention last year, we, we you know we, we worked ever so hard for every game and every point that we deserved. We we, we had to work really hard. We scored a lot of goals, but in the second half of the season, I just felt we didn't. You know, we didn't create as many chances as, as we probably should have. Um, you know, for the quality that we had, and, and hopefully the the, the, the forward-thinking players that we've brought in will will add, will add to the, to the group. You know, because I think we, we relied too heavily on Glenn last year. Um, you know, he's a massive player for us, but you know, you take his goals away, and, and I think then Sparky was was up there an AG again. Um, but we need we need others to chip in, and, and, and hopefully the lads that we've brought in can can do that. And you mentioned there that the attacking players, Cogden, McKenna, Roberts, Greenwood, they're all offensive. And with the likes of Ryan Hall, Andrew Johnson, Mark Anderson, Adam Boys, and of course Glenn Taylor, can we kind of expect a, an emphasis on attack this season? Will there be kind of a, a shift in mentality? Um, and, and will that kind of lead to maybe a change in formation? Well, I mean, I don't think there's a shift in, in attacking football because I think we've been blessed with that over the years. I think we've one of the top scoring teams in the league over the two years that we've been here, and defensively we've conceded one of the, one of the, the least. So it's a it's a it's a balance. You know, we, we we found that out in the first five games last year. I think we played ever so well. Um, we we tweaked a little bit of the system last year at the start of the season. Played some really attractive football, um, but didn't get the, the the results that we we probably deserved. So we need to make sure this year that we are flexible, that we can interchange formations, that we can, you know, uh, have players who can play a number of positions, and you know that's that was evident in the players that we've brought in. Each one of them can probably play in a number of positions, and um, you know we're looking forward to the season. To go with the group that we've already had, uh, we've got a fantastic group, a real good togetherness, and you know we need to make sure that we 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 have that um, in abundance this year. And each season kind of brings its own challenges. Um, do you think maybe one of the the biggest ones this season is we were the obviously playoff runners up, beaten by on penalty kicks. I think teams will once again see us differently. They'll want to come and beat us because we came so close last year. And let's be honest, we're probably one of the favourites to, to go up this season. Well, I don't know whether they're the favourites or not. I mean, you look, you just look at, and I know I say this in every interview. I think the the, the teams that are in this league, um, there's some massive clubs, you know, and there's some clubs that have you know have invested again this year, and, and you know there's no easy games in this league. You look at the teams at the bottom of the table, you know they're all capable of taking points at the top. Um, you know there's no, there's never a. I mean I don't think even till till April, February, March, April there was no teams that were guaranteed playoff positions, and you know and that's how tight the league is, and it'll be no different this year. There's there's some brilliant football clubs, there's some brilliant players in the league and top managers, so. We just need to look after ourselves. We always do that. We never go uh, saying we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We just get on with our football um, and take each game as it comes. But we've got to make sure that we're, we're in and around again this year because, like I said, the chairman's invested again like he always does, um, not just on the pitch but off the pitch. And you just have to come here and see what the, what the developments of the ground and the facilities here, you know, and the sponsorship that the club's bringing in. You know, that the, the club is on the right journey. And, and like I said, the players that we've brought in, you know, I've sold that to them. I've sold them what, what the club's all about, and, and we've got to we've got to make sure that we, we do that on the pitch. And you mentioned it's your thirteenth season now with the spending manager. You've touched upon the pitch, all the groundwork that's going on, everything behind the scenes, sponsorship wise, and the club's kind of rising in, in every aspect. So, is this the most exciting season that you've come into 
in terms of on and off the pitch and what would you kind of say to fans who maybe think about buying a season ticket what would you kind of say to them what would the message message be well i think it's evident that the, the club's you know on a massive upward trajectory um and, and I think we have we have um, brought in some new new support, um, and, and I think that's evident from the season ticket sales at early doors this year. You know what I, what I can promise is a bunch of hard working lads who, who will give everything for the shirt. You know, there's no one that will 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 shirk that. You know, a management team that will give everything. You know, I've got I'm blessed with a, a really good group of, of Midge, Tommy, Oti, and Baz. Um, we're a real together group. You know, it's a community spirit. Uh, uh, so it's a community club. And we want everybody from the community to, to, to really, you know, want to be a part of spending more. Um, I work in South Shields and I see some South Shields shirts around the school when it's non-uniform day. And hopefully the younger lads and the younger girls of Spennymo will, will, will take pride in wearing a Spennymo shirt because I think you know, the, the club, uh, what it's achieved over the over the years that that that, that have been involved and, and to see where it's you know where it's led to now, it's um, it's a fantastic club to be involved in and one that you're proud to say you're part of. And I just want all the supporters to know that, you know, when if they buy the season ticket, and I hope they do, that they will see, you know, a, a real tough league and, and one where the players will play their hearts out and, and give everything for the shirt.